What's good, YouTube? It's your main man, Code Room, and I'm back with another video. Today, I'm going to be making a blended terrain and porting it over to Godot 4 again. So, enjoy. Also, real quick, I'm only 13 subs away from 500, so if you could do that, if you haven't already, that would be great. So, I added a plain mesh and then subdivided it a bunch. I did it around 8 or 9 times. Then, I got to setting up my geometry nodes. Then, I added a set position node and linked all the geometry. Then, I added a combined X, Y, and Z and linked its vector to the set position. Afterwards, I added a noise texture. Then, I connected its POS to the Z axis on the combined X, Y, and Z. And from that, I can start editing the settings of the noise texture to get the terrain I wanted. I was going for more hills and bumps. I spent a little bit of time making the terrain. After I was done in Blender, I ported the terrain over into Godot 4. And I started working on the lighting and shaders. So I downloaded this rock texture and it had some grass in it, like some greenish tints in there. So that was gonna offset the roughness of the rock. I loaded up the texture and set the UV one scale to five. At first I had the normal map on 14, but I set it to 16 a little later, I think. I turned off the specular and left the roughness at 1. And I think for now, I was done with the shader. From there, I started working on the lighting and world environment. I turned the exposure up to 2.92. And the tone map mode was on Reinhardt. And I also learned that exposure works better for the entire scene than using the sky lighting. Then afterwards, I started working on a directional light node for the terrain specifically. And I wanted dark and defined shadows. So I enabled shadows on the directional light node. And I turned up the energy so that the areas exposed to the directional light would be really lit and that way the shadows look more dark. So afterwards I did some scaling and fine tuning to the scene to get what I wanted. I'm just gonna time lapse all of that so enjoy. So yeah, this is the finished project. I like the lighting. I got the look I was going for with those dark shadows. The shader worked really well, as do nearly all of Godot 4 shaders. I haven't had any issues with those yet. The skybox is beautiful. The lighting is nice. I think I hit a home run with this one. So let me know what you think in the comments. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'm out of here.